Shakespeare's Theater 314 and 315. Um, you've all seen, you know, pictures and things of the globe. I have a lot of links on Moodle. Um, when you have some time, go through them. There's a CGI tour of just like a little computer model from it. It was pretty cool eight years ago. Now it looks really kind of dated, but it still is relatively neat. Um, you know, they called it the wooden O um, because if you were to fly over, you know, it was open ceiling, kind of like a, a sports venue nowadays. Um, but it really wasn't a circle because they couldn't make a perfect circle. And so it was just like a lot of, you know, lines, but eventually it kind of resembled a circle or a weird circle. Um, so take some time to look through that. I have some illustrations on Moodle. Um, you know, there's a website. Uh, you can go to the Globe. Now the Globe uh, burned down during a production. They rebuilt it and then eventually was knocked down by the Puritans, um, which we will learn more about them when we get to the, you know, the Puritans and the Civil War and the Enlightenment. Uh, they were big against theater and such and they knocked down the, uh, the original Gro Globe Part 2, I guess you could say, um, and put up some apartment complexes. Um, it was in the 90s that um, some of the foundation of the Globe was discovered in London and some financier put money together and they built up the globe. So I guess 3.0 version. Um, and you can go there. Now it's not on the exact foundation, it's just down the street a little bit, but they built it to spec. Um, they didn't have blueprints, all they had were illustrations, graphics, diaries, paintings, and they put it together as best that uh, you can see. Um, I have some pictures around the room. Uh, my wife went to London a handful of years ago and you can go and watch productions. Um, I can't read that. I think that's the Midsummer Night's Dream. But look at everybody standing, just like they would back then. And we'll talk more about them in a bit. Um, but you can go and, I mean, it's like stepping into a, a time machine more than almost any other thing that you can do in the world. Because the lines are still the same. The costumes and uh, the accents are all are almost identical to what you would have seen in 1602 or 1598 or whatever. So that's, that's kind of cool, I think. Um, and I have another picture back behind Colson on the back. And Kenneth, um, that's it vacant. Um, it, they make it look like it's open. It's one of those panoramic where they can kind of just move the camera around. Um, it is more of a, a circle or oval type thing. Um, you can see how the stage juts out a little bit. People that stand called groundlings, they would stand or put their elbows on the, the stage and just kind of look up. If you look, there's a deck, uh, a, a balcony. People can sit up there. You pay extra. That's kind of like the Lake, Laker seats, courtside. People pay a little bit extra. You can sit up there. They put musicians up there if there were any music to be played. Um, you know, they would the the people, the actors that would come and perform there. They would have a couple shows in their mind. What are we doing today? Oh, let's do a comedy. And so they would put a certain color flag up, and people would go, Oh, there's a comedy at the Globe. Let's go see it, not knowing what it was. Maybe it was a, you know, a tragedy. Let's do some history. So they put up a different flag, and it would blow up on top of the, the house there. Um, people would pay a groundling, a penny, a farthing, whatever, a little monetary unit to stand. If you wanted to sit, cost extra. If you want to sit on a cushion, cost extra. If you want to sit up on the Laker seats, up pretty much on stage but up on the balcony, it costs even extra. So it was pretty expensive. Um, if you wanted you know, to be seen. And really, in essence, that's why you would pay. Because the view, you'd just be looking at the back of the, back of the people. Can, you know what I'm talking about? You'd be really looking out into the house. And everybody's looking, not necessarily at you, but they will at times, but looking at the actors. And so um, I don't necessarily think that was the best seat in the house, but people who were paying it, they probably didn't necessarily want to be paying attention. They wanted people to look at them. This is where those reality stars of today would be sitting. You know what I mean? The ones who want you to think that they're a lot more sophisticated than what they truly are. And I know we are all coming up with certain names in our head. And it's a yes, yes to all of those probably. Okay? Um, but it's a really neat experience. Okay? They did not have microphones. They did not have lights and stuff like that. Everything was wood. That's why when a, a cannon exploded and it, it shot kind of like in a, a TV show and movies, they had blanks and guns. Well, this actually had some sort of like flame, uh, uh, um, what was it, a rag that ignited and landed on top of the roof. Well, everything's wood. Whew. It went up in flames. You know, and there were 2,000 people, 3,000 capacity, something like that, and they all evacuated. And nobody died, which is just amazing. 
Can you imagine everybody in this school, only 2,000 evacuating out of one or two doors? And there's a, an actual fire, not a drill? Can you imagine? And nobody dies? One person died, but I think he had a heart attack. Okay, but I mean, it wasn't from flames or it wasn't some tragedy cruise ship where everybody's trapped at sea and go, you know, go up in flames or something. Um, and so that's kind of just interesting. Nowadays, you can go and everything looks the same. Now they have it wired. Now they have lights, so they could do it at night if they want. Um, you know, the, the roof has sprinkler systems, you know, and things like that. But it would have to be dead quiet and people would project. People nowadays with acting, sometimes they overact, you know, or do things really small and subtle that you couldn't do that back then because people way in the back might not see you doing a small little thing. So you just had to be big. And that's why you, when you see people make fun of Shakespearean actors, they're just all, oh, bah, 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 you know, just way out there. But that's so people could hear you and project. Um, and I, if I ever go to London, I will definitely try to go see a show. Even if you don't like Shakespeare, I mean, if you look at that picture, there are people in polo shirts and dresses, and people are standing for a couple hours because they're doing something that, um, <laughs> that you, you like that? Yeah. Polo shirts? Yeah. He is. He is. Um, but uh, it, it's a neat experience, um, and I would strongly advise you guys going because I, I hope to go someday, and I think that would be pretty cool. Um, see, oh, a couple other things. They have a, during this time period, women were not allowed on stage. It was illegal for women to act. Well, wait a minute, like Romeo and Juliet. Wouldn't that be a girl? Well, no, I just said that women won. So they would have young men or boys whose voice hasn't, you know, gotten the bass yet. Because they don't want some hairy guy up there acting like Juliet with a beard, you know. So it would have to be a young, a young man. Um, a couple other things, you know, the wardrobes were colorful and elaborate. They did not have big scenery and set pieces. They would have swords, um, but everything else was pretty much, you know, imagined. Um, if it was cold and wintry, the actors, through the dialogue, would convey that to you. So you see them like this and shivering. Oh, it's a cold night in Denmark. And oh, da, da, da. And people would know, oh, okay, well, it's pretty cold. As the audience, you would know that it's cold. You don't have to see fake snow coming down. They just didn't have that. Okay? Um, so it's really a, a, a neat thing. Um, if you can ever go, uh, there was a movie called Shakespeare in Love. I hope to show you some clips of that down, down the road. I think I may have talked about it before. Um, it was Best Picture, like in uh, 99, 98, somewhere around there. Um, and, uh, you know, they built a set that was very reminiscent of the Globe. It wasn't supposed to be a Globe, but you get to see what it was like to put on a play. Um, and uh, it was really quite neat. So um, you'll get a chance to do that later, hopefully. Uh,